Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. Today we are at Rapid City Black Hills KOA Holiday at site 140. It's an end cap, which is nice. I don't have neighbors on this site. I do have the utility shed right over here, which is fine. It's a nice long site. I requested a premium site and I'll show you the patio side later in a bit. So we've got 50 amps water sewer water pressure is good they're not all together though the water is way over here electric in the middle and then sewer back here so the water hose is kind of water hose is 20 feet or is it 25 feet I don't remember I got it from Airstream Life Store as many of you know so it's being stretched a bit. It's a nice long site. And it's leveled left and right, which is wonderful. No leveling blocks required. Again, I have the end cap. <laughs> Requested this months and months ago. Premium site, they seem to have a lot of premium sites here. This whole area right here on the map area. So everything down here, this area right here is all premium sites. So it's far away from the neighbors or it's a good distance away, which is nice. And here is the concrete patio. Got a bench. Fire pit. And chairs. I'm gonna hose this down. Tomorrow probably. So, nice long site. Here's set up. So we've got a oh, Starlink. Looks like it's connected. Got Starlink and the flag up. We're here for seven nights. So I thought I'd put the flag up. I like having the flag up. So would I stay at this park again? The answer is a definite yes. I would stay here again. This is really nice. If you look around, there's a lot of trailers or a lot of A-classes with trailers. Or fifth wheels with a garage. There's another trailer over there. They're just trailers everywhere. Or they have garages, the fifth wheels. Because right now, Sturgis is going on. So on the drive here, I was just motorcycle after motorcycle. It was nice. I mixed emotions about the motorcycles i am happy for the freedom that they get to ride these nice curvy curves envious that they're doing it and a little bit angry because i'm not doing it i would love to have done this when i had the chance and opportunity but i didn't so because of health issues I was forced to sell my motorcycle. So, different chapter of my life. Yes, I'm angry about it still. Happy that they get to do it, envious that they're doing it, and angry that I can't do it. So, yeah, mixed emotions. All right, tomorrow, when I stopped at the Welcome Center, they, to they, I asked them what the best time to go see Mount Rushmore was because of Sturges. And they said the earliest that you get there, the better. So she said the visitor center opens at 8. So I will try to be there quarter to 8. It's only maybe 15, 20 miles from here. So we're going to do that tomorrow. And then probably Grasslands. 
So there's two national parks. I've been to I've been to them before. When I did the Camaro, when I was doing my Camaro round the country trip. But now, since I have the National Parks book, I'm revisiting a lot of the parks that I've already been to before. <sighs> All right. We'll catch you up at Mount Rushmore. Have a good evening. Today we are at Mount Rushmore National Memorial in Keystone, South Dakota. The sheer size of the Gutsman Warblers mountain carving on Mount Rushmore evokes a sense of awe in those who view it. Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Thomas and Theodore Roosevelt are immortalized in this granite cliff. We are at Jewel Cave National Monument in Custer, South Dakota. With more than 175 miles surveyed, the Jewel Cave is recognized as the third longest cave in the world. Cave tours provide opportunities for viewing its wide variety of stalactites and stalagmites draperies, frostwork, flowstones, boxwork, and hydromagnesite balloons. We will not be doing any of that because it's apparently over, I think this is the one, Jewel Cave I think has over 700 steps to climb up on. And I believe Wind Cave is the same. It's just you can take the elevator down, but you can't take it up. So we are not doing any of the tours. We're just here to get our national stamp. And I believe we saw this with my parents 40 years ago. <laughs> All right, let's get our stamp and some postcards. Crosswork. This is all natural. It wasn't mm -hmm. real bad. Oh. This is all natural. See? Fell down. Not even beach friends because the beach was farther north. Um, but it used to all be underwater. Um, in that water, just like today, there are tiny little sea creatures with tiny little skeletons or shells or some hard material that whenever they would die, they would sink Don't down around them. for a bit. But those are our dog to spar. They're named that because they're just a little bit more pointy than the nail head spar. Kind of looks like a geode. And I do have one of these to pass around it as well. And has anyone ever done like the science experiments with the pipe cleaner in the sugar water? And you put the pipe cleaner in the water and once the water kind of evaporates away, it creates like rock candy or some really cool crystals. Yeah. Cool, okay. A couple people have done that. So 
the exact same process happened here, except instead of sugar, it was dissolved limestone. Instead of a pipe cleaner, it was the side of our cake. Um, so that's just the same concept. All right, has so everyone gotten their photos? I'm gonna turn the flashlight off. was actually very interesting we actually got to go down jewel cave they have a tour called discovery tour it's one little flight of stairs to get down to the lower platform in the discovery room so it's a brings you down 25 floors over a mile and there's a ranger top down there it's six dollars there are other tours available where you do climb another one where only really skinny people can go on another one is called the lantern tour i would just look it up in the website so i i didn't think i would get to go down there but i did so very happy about that right there's another cave called wind cave i know i can't do that one either it's about 30 miles away or so. So that's our next park. Cars that we can walk, or do we drive over there? We can drive there, but there is also a trail. We are at Wind Cave National Park in Hot Springs, South Dakota. One of the world's longest and most complex caves, and 28,295 acres of mixed grass prairie. Ponderosa pine forest and associated wildlife are the main features of this park. The cave is well known for its outstanding display of boxwork and unusual cave formation composed of thin calcite fins. I have no clue what calcite fins are. Not as big as mammoth or mammoth, but it is a large cave system. Let's go. Here we are at Wind Cave. All the tours have been canceled because they are having elevator issues. So they do have one tour where it just goes down to one floor, I think, with a few steps, a few stairs, but no tours today. So on to the next park.
Creek through Backcountry. Dirt Road. That was actually a lot of fun and very scenic. Alright, we're heading back to Rapid City. Today we are at Minuteman Missile National Historic Site in Phillips, South Dakota. Created to illustrate the history and significance of the Cold War, the arms race and intercontinental ballistic missile development, this park includes two significant Cold War sites, a launch control facility and a missile silo complex. The site offers a top secret tours year round. And there is a lot of mosquitoes here, so bring, make sure you are bug sprayed. Okay, today Sturgis is going on. I am here in South Dakota during Sturgis week. Okay, we are here at Badlands National Park. Been here again. again. I'm revisiting all these parks. Badlands National Park is in interior South Dakota. Sharply eroded buttes, pinnacles, and spires blend with the largest protected mixed green grass prairie in the United States make up 244,000 acres of this park. The park is home to bison, bighorn sheep, prairie dogs, and black-footed ferrets. Yes, we have seen bison along the road, fluffy brown cows, very big, beautiful out here. We're not even inside the park yet. So, beautiful prairie country.
These are fossils found here. Good morning. This is our working paleontology lab. And everything in this room has been found in the park. Wow. And Ed's looking through a microscope. You can see what he's doing up there. Oh, wow. And to your left, Carmen is doing the same thing. You can ask them any questions no, you like. Carmen. Oh, no, I, I remember there's some college taking a field trip when I took geology. Oh, yeah. yeah. And again, everything in this room has been found in the park. They have a lot of patience. Okay, all the fossils that are found here apparently are found by tourists who just walk around the park and 
they have instructions on what to do if you find a fossil. You're not to touch it, you're to take photos, and then hopefully take a GPS coordinate of where you found it, and then report it to one of the rangers, and they will come and get it. Fascinating. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, we were gonna have lunch here, but there is a million people in line to have lunch. <laughs> so we're gonna starve a little bit and go somewhere else. Okay, the cafe at Walt Drugs ridiculous. Yeah, it seemed like there were hundreds of people in line to get food. I just wanted a simple hamburger. So we are across the street at Badlands Bar Cocktails and Burgers. Having a simple burger, fries, and ranch dressing. Okay, we ordered a Caesar. She initially brought out three anchovies. She got me more. This is, it's like Indian bread. And a local lager. The steak is excellent. It's blue. Brussels sprouts. Chives. I have my own supply of chives. They ran out. They're not in stock. What they brought me originally was scallions. Scallions are the tips of onions when they grow. And chives is a spice. Dessert is called Kuchin. This is what it looks like. Looks like a custard. The dessert. And after eating half of it, it kind of becomes bland. Kind of. Very bland pastry. So without the strawberry, it's actually very bland. 